previously on Viral Vision. This can't be. Derek Wolf's been dead for six years? <laughs> what did you do with Cameron's body after he died? I exhumed it to make the ultimate licking machine. White Mystery's career is in shambles. He's never going to make it in this business again. Fred! White Mystery is tank. Tell me, Tony, are you sure you wish for the power and responsibility of the fail master? Of course. Would you be willing to act out the ritual of the blunt sepulcher? Are you sure you're willing to kill Cameron again? Bro, calm down. Little Tony stole my idea for the extract app. Now he's a Silicon Valley multi-millionaire. I'm gonna enact some revenge on him. White mystery style. Oh, you can't. He died last night. They found his body in a hallway. Gasp! His kidney has been removed from his body, and a single trail of licked saliva on his face. It couldn't be. What did he say? What were his final words? He, he looked me in the eyes. What were his final words? He looked me in the eyes. And in his final words, he said, it's time to go viral. Gentlemen, your host, Derek Wolf. Thank you, thank you. Welcome to Wolf Weekly. I'm Derek Wolf. How's everybody doing tonight? Wow, that's great. Did you guys hear about this? It was reported that this week a legal brothel in Nevada is showing their support for presidential candidate Hillary Clinton, calling the endorsement Hookers for Hillary. <laughs> Said husband Bill Clinton, just my luck, now it's legal. <laughs> Bobby Drake, aka Iceman of the X-Men, finally came out as gay. Finally! I never thought he would come out of his underwater secret lair closet. <laughs> Amazon is reporting that adult coloring books are topping their book sales. Apparently, adults are using these books to relax. <sighs> That's a relief, because when I got mine and one of the pages was a man with a dog, I thought, wow, people are into some crazy stuff nowadays. <laughs> Norway is phasing out FM radio entirely for the preference of satellite radio. Great, if this spreads to the United States, how am I supposed to get my 24-hour day fix of Katy Perry's Dark Horse? <laughs> And finally, the band Van Halen is... Oh, we got some Van Halen fans in the audience today. Well, apparently, they are embarking on a nationwide tour this summer. Fans are excited to hear their favorite hits from what the members of the band call the We Should Have Saved Tour. <laughs> Derek? 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 Oh, sorry about that. Welcome to Episode 6 of Viral Vision. I'm your host, Derek Wolf, and this is the finale, ladies and gentlemen. And if our writers do their job right, it should be at least 29 minutes and 30 seconds. We're only at 19 minutes, Derek. Well, I guess you're never going to see your kids again. None of us even have children. I'm not even married. I haven't talked to a female in seven years. Then whose kids am I holding hostage? They're yours, and that's called child neglect. Opinions, allegations, potato, potato. I've had a lot of fun doing this show in the past few months. Bring in family. What's up, Dale? Hi, Cousin Derek. Talking to pre-taped versions of myself. Hey. Hey. And most recently, my grandma Evelyn. You're not invited to Christmas this year. Love you too, Mima. It's been a long season, and if you've forgotten, here's what you've missed.
at Derek, he threw up. They buy car so he's out of luck. That coffee hipster is a schmuck. Derek's Tinder game real sucks. Cameron makes a lot of things. Jake holds boxes with his wings. Derek proves that he can sing. This rap star wins with a ding. Little Tony proves that he's the creepiest one of them all. These bad male makeup artists show that they deserve a rolling ball. Kiefer and Connor can't seem to pass each other on the mall. They didn't see the ghost even when it accidentally falls. These episodes get weirder and weirder every other week. We did. Cameron just licked that girl's freaking cheek. We met the cascade he harassed. Cameron passed him the outcast. Tony learns how to pass the gas. Possible marriage in the grass. Dr. Kiefer's daughter Luna. They ate cereal with no spoon. A viral video about chicken tuna it means the moon. A Derek Muna. Viral vision about idiots on the web. The perfect place to watch with your face. You've got no life on a Friday night. Viral vision. Why are we still on the air? This is our final episode. I think that's pretty fair. I'm so glad Dead People stuff can't be copyrighted. Not one ounce of that is true. It's the finale. What are they going to do? Cancel us? We apologize for the inconvenience. We now go to Little Tony's Play Palace right here on Cable 8. Hello. Welcomes to my humble abode. <laughs> I'm glad to be taking over Viral Vision's time slot as of today. Welcome to Lil Tony's Play Palace. I can't wait to talk with you all about transcendental poetry, the scabs I picked off my leg today, and why I'm endorsing Hillary Clinton for the 2016 presidential run. One word, rabies. But first things first, here's some footage I recorded in the local woman's restroom. Hey, little Tony, can I be on your uh, show? Hey, you that one cowboy from that oversaturated episode. The name's Holt. Get a rack. Get off my set, you third-rate character. Little Tony don't deserve this. I paid my dues. Yous wasn't in one episode, you has been, never was. Little Tony and his army is here to stay, stay, and dominate. We apologize once again for the inconvenience. We now return to Viral Vision. Well, good news everyone, we're back. Now here's that footage of the women's restroom. Okay, okay, I get it. Here's a perfectly legal clip of a car in peril or something boring like that. I don't think The Rock could have pulled something off like that in Furious 7. Actually, if you think about it, this is kind of like a mashup of Fast and Furious with Lord of the Rings. There's the use of a forced perspective, the sweet car, a language you don't understand, like Elvish or whatever Vin Diesel is saying, a sense of confusion and anger at the end of the video, <coughs> Battle of Five Armies. <coughs> Hopefully our next sketch is a little more fulfilling. Connor can hit hard. Don't try me, host boy. <sighs> Thought we were friends. Jeez, I feel like crap. Just like the person in our next video. <laughs> I thought tutus were supposed to make you graceful. Watch out for Natalie Portman's third persona, the brown swan. But honestly, she should feel lucky. At least she backflipped into crap. That's cooler than how I fell into crap last weekend. Derek, come on. You need to stop sharing every single awful thing that happens to us. Frankly, you're embarrassing us. What do you care? You're just me from two hours ago. I have a pre-taped girlfriend now. Excuse me? 
I have a pre-taped fiance, to be exact, and I want you to be the best man at our pre-taped wedding. I'm, of course, anything for you, bud. Thanks, Derek. You just made the happiest pre-taped man a little happier. I love her, Derek, and it's gonna be beautiful. Do you mind taking photos for the wedding for me? Oh, of course. I just wiped my hard drive to back up photos. <laughs> Guys, I, I think I just killed pre-taped Derek Wolf. While I figure out if I'll be tried for homicide and suicide, watch this. Hello, ma'am. Can I help you? Hey, so uh, I got these shoes as a present mm. from my parents, and I don't really like the color. Mm. So I'd like to return them. All right, if you'll just show me your receipt. It appears here you got these shoes at a special discount, where when you buy one pair of shoes, we donate a pair for free to a child in need. But since you're returning them, it means we have to steal a pair from a child in need. Wait, you can't just let the kid keep our shoes? No, store policy. Well, who goes and does it? We call them the Sahara Squad. Who would even want to do this? Well, as a matter of fact, this job has particular benefits. There's phenomenal dental plan, you get a 401k and a commission, where every nine shoes that you steal back, you get a complimentary Sahara Squad water bottle and banana hammock. Wow, that's almost as good as Costco. Exactly. Would you like me to get an application for my manager? No, no. What you guys do is terrible and just mean. So you don't want a refund? Well, I wasn't saying that. Mark, send in the chopper. Wait, 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 stop. Do I get cash or store credit? Maybe next time, Sarah. Now, I recognize Sarah's problems, but we have our issues too, like exploding Death Stars of spiders on kitchen floors. I'm not. Oh, look at the babies coming out of it. Oh, oh look at them. Spider-Man, Spider-Man. Kill one, release a thousand of them. Hit them with your favorite broom. Holy crap, watch the baby zoom. Look out, there goes the nightmare fuel. Okay, granted, the only thing scarier than that clip was my singing. You are so beautiful to me. I flippin' love finales. You can control flashbacks just like that. I wish I could flashback to when you were seven, you little puke. Dang it, Grandma, let me have this. I'll let you have this. Is this the same box of tissues from episode five? Go cry about it, you pansy. Seriously, Grandma? Reusing exact lines from past episodes? Hey, young man. I work with the material I'm given here, whippersnapper. Well, here's... Here's Connor with the fail of the week. Come on, Grandma. Here's Connor with the fail of the week. Thanks, Derek. I'm your fail master, Connor Henriksen, and this is a good way to end the season, as well as ending a low insurance rate. Ladies and gentlemen, we thought we had seen it all. A drunk skater mom, an exploding sperm whale, a stupid cat video, a liar liar with his pants on fire, an escalator cliffhanger, and of course, the most unfortunate member of the village people. But I didn't think we'd see this. What did you expect at the bottom, a ball pit? What do you think this is, a 1990s Chuck E. Cheese? But I've got to hand it to him. This would be the perfect metaphor for sliding into a girl's DMs. <laughs> Good one, Connor. Too bad for them, they're just going to be sliding into wheelchairs. It really does make you think, though. Maybe there were some things we should have left behind the Iron Curtain. I have seven pieces of advice for these brain-damaged gentlemen. And nicely enough, it spells out the name of their homeland, Ukraine. Connor, calm down. Number one. You. You should respect architecture and not use it to play extreme slip and slide. K. Okay, wear a helmet, kids. R. Reasonable thoughts before performing this action include, Wait, bro, I don't think we should slide down this death plunge. A. Alright, we made it. I. Internal bleeding. N. Anyone still paying attention to this bit? E. 
eat your vegetables because in the Ukraine, the only way to survive a slip and slide is to overshoot the landing. Connor, stop. You're dispensing too many righteous burns here. You could hurt yourself. Don't worry, folks. He's not dead. He's just unconscious. And when he wakes up again, he'll drop a hot load on another fail. Until then, here's this dog's hot load. <laughs> Dude, I gotta get this off film. <laughs> <laughs> Stop making fun of me! Well, that road trip is gonna stink. Dang it, Jesse! You let your drug dog poop in the methylmobile again? You and that dog stopped at Walmart real quick for some Sudafed, and it produced the crappiest batch I've ever seen. Walt Dwight had to deal with some real crap, but nothing like this. Spoiler alert, dude! I don't think Walter White's lack of interaction with dog feces is really a Breaking Bad spoiler. Oh, sorry. I was mixing up shows. I thought you were talking about 100 Deeds of Ed and McDowd. Get that, get that off there. Get it off. We're not discussing obscure Nickelodeon programming from the early 2000s on my show. We only reference the hottest, freshest pop culture. What's this? Breaking news? White Mystery issued a new press release in the form of a rap video? I'm game. If you think White Mystery's out of the game, you'd be wrong. Right now, I'm approving. Ha! Lego. I'm White Mystery. Ain't no brother from another, cause you can't compete with me. I'm White Mystery. Don't forget my name, it's going down in history. My lyrics are so hot, they cause blistering. Are y'all listening? After this, all you're gonna be fans. The glasses are rough now. So much cash, you just call me Bruce Wayne. Got no charity though, I've been only making it rain. Cause I've been coming at you all like a hurricane. With these lyrics on fire as I'm rapping to the beat, causing all my haters to hastily retreat. They can't get on my level, they should lie down and accept the feet. There's been a lot of talk all over TV, especially from a certain reporter on ET. Then my career is in shambles, unable to return to the level it was back before the burn I did on that stupid idiot. Man, who would have thought someone would attack my fame? Let me dispel all of these rumors right now. I know what you're thinking, why mystery? Just calm down. I'm sorry, I'm hurt. I just need to say this out loud. The only mystery is this. Why's back this? I'm the greatest Bowman rapper that you've ever seen. Strutting all over places, I'm ruining this scene. I'll be starting till the year 2015. Been going so hard that you will wish you were me. I'm the greatest Bowman rapper that you've ever seen. Strutting all over the place, cause I'm ruining until the year 2015 Going so hard that you will wish you would be For real though, stealing ideas ain't ideal No matter how rich you get, you also get turned to me You've all heard the phrase Snitches, new snitches It goes for thieves too, except they get left in ditches There was a man in the world just yesterday He loved to chat on people's kidneys He thought that he could play at Citizen Kane But karma left him for dead in a world of pain that's cause he had the gall to steal from me Not saying that I did it, he just really had it coming Now that he's got him back to being the king Ruler over all is what my subjects will say Cause I won't ever tell him to kiss the ring My reign of awesome won't be a one-time thing With my power restored, truth and justice I'll bring Back to my kingdom, now nice world once was me I'm the greatest Bowman rapper that you've ever seen Strutting all over the place cause I'm ruining this scene I'll be stunned till the year 2015 It's too bad that this has all been a daydream Alex, could you join the rest of the class and pay attention? Your move, Tupac At this point in the show, host Derek Wolf is informed by his producers that recently referenced rapper Tupac Shakur is actually deceased and has been for almost 20 years now Derek handles this news with elegance and grace. Derek suddenly whips out his best Chris Christie impersonation, which is in reality just a bad Jabba the Hutt impression. Derek is really, really, really excited for Star Wars. Derek suddenly calls his fourth grade best friend Milton Pennies and thanks him for covering for him that one time he farted in story time. Milton's a true homie, although he's lactose intolerant. As Derek digresses, we find him calling himself a sex icon and the Steve Buscemi of men. This dude is just confused. We now return to Viral Vision. 
What are you talking about? Steve Buscemi is the new David Beckham. He's even more slick than this guy. People are constantly asking me, what's it like to be a sex symbol? If that's what it's like to be a sex symbol, then count me out. Don't worry, we never did. A little support would be nice, Grandma. What, a little support in your training bra? You'll get there soon, Derek. Grandma, please, just give me anything. Here's this. Who keeps writing this character? Shoulda gave me that raise, dude. Yeah, we deserve more than just one fruit roll-up. We deserve two. How about chicken nuggets? Eat this in part one of this week's Talent vs. Challenge. Thanks, Derek. I'm Alex. I'm Sonia. I'm Kiefer. And I'm you. And this week, we're going to be racing to see who can finish your chicken nuggets first in part one of this week's Talent vs. Challenge. Challengers, open your boxes. Cover your hands. Three. Two, one, eat! This <laughs> is dry. Really good. We gotta go, boy. We've been sitting for hours. This is so good, though. Supersize me, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do for people. Mm mm. Oh my god! This doesn't seem physically possible. Keep this winning, I'm afraid. Oh, Thanks, I think I'm gonna cry. Don't cry. <laughs> no! Oh. Oh. It's okay. <gasps> Darn, you only have three left. Mm -mm. I am the Nugget King! You will all bow to me. Back to you, Derek. Slightly disgusted, but more impressed. Good job, Nugget King. I have never been more proud. Proud to say that we'll be seeing you throw it up very soon. But until then, here's our final attempt at stupid cat puns. Looks like that cat couldn't bear the sight of that young grizzly. I mean, I'd have some mad catitude too after treating myself to a huge bag of catnip. Haven't you ever heard of personal space? That cat just doesn't like to be surprised by other animals, it barely knows. If you need something to keep bears and humans away, why not give this a try? Check it out. Are you Jewish? Because you is really hot. Is your dad a boxer? Is your knockout? Ladies, are you tired of creeps like this? <laughs> Approaching you in public places? Well, that ends today, and it's all thanks to Ward Off. Observe. Uh, uh, I should get tested. See, it's that simple. Ward Off gives you all the benefits of having those nasty skin problems without actually having those skin problems. If you're fed up with unwanted advances from strangers, then maybe it's time you start thinking about gluing a fake wart to your face. Why open your mouth and tell them you're not interested when it's much easier to make them not interested in you? Ward Off gives you that for only three easy payments of $19.99. And if you call right now, we'll also send you a free order of Rash and Burn. So don't wait. Call and order Ward Off and receive your free order of Rash and Burn. Stop letting creepy strangers waste your time and start benefiting from the fact that the culture we live in is very shallow. I used to have to spend entire seconds of my day fending off guys. Now, thanks to Ward Off, I don't have to. Thanks, Ward Off. Not only are you effective, but your three payments of $19.99 are so easy. Haha, <laughs> you heard her, ladies. Don't wait. Call now and after three exceptionally easy payments of $19.99, Ward Off can be yours. That's three easy payments of $19.99. Call now. Three easy payments of $19.99. Ward Off, $19.99. That poor cast member, 
if that made your self-esteem drop in any way, then you're on the wrong show. We do some pretty messed up stuff and thick fake warts aren't even the tip of the iceberg. Ladies everywhere, take some advice from the lady in this next video. Be confident in your abilities. Dude, I can't even rep it, man. Push, Voldemort, push! Is that how it feels when Harry destroys Horcruxes? Jane Lynch really lost her way after Glee ended. Now you've only got Celebrity Game Night and you're running out of steam, you has been. I mean, you extremely talented actress who deserves the utmost respect for being in the industry for 27 years. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, Connie, you there? Derek, I'm awake again, just with a skull-splitting headache. Are you ready for another fail of the week? Not really. How can you have two fails of the week? What if I were to say that this were the fail of the century? Yeah, right. Let's see about that. This is the perfect fail. The perfect metaphor. The platonic ideal. He literally fails right into a dumpster. I, I have no words for this. It's perfectly self-contained in a few frames of footage. It's all in the video. Man faces a fail like this only once in a lifetime. It's as big a fail as Napoleon in Russia, the first ancient Greek to hit himself in the crotch with a yo-yo, the man who invented parachutes dying after he jumped off the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> applaud with me, everyone, applaud. That is the most beautiful thing I've seen since your ballet recital last week, Derek. Dang it, Connor. Good teamwork, Evelyn. Right back at you, cutie. Okay, okay, let's get back to business. This is what I like to call morgue insurance. Now I'm a relatable teen. I know all the fashion from the saggy jeans to the snapbacks, and this kid took snapbacks seriously. He may be wearing vans, but he's going to need an ambulance if he wants to survive. Global warming has made rope swinging into lakes a lot more dangerous. Okay, now, don't throw his body in the trash. It's biodegradable. Back to you, Derek. Thanks, Connor, for that final fail of the week. It was nice while it lasted. I could say the same about your hosting. Sticks and stones may break my bones. No, that's, that's how I genuinely feel, Derek. I was, it's being genuine. I don't, I don't know what that is. It's going to be okay, man. I have to go now, though. I, I have fails I must master across the universe. Goodbye, friend. Fred? Connor? All right, here's the talent versus challenge. Hi, I'm Alex. And I'm Kiefer. And I'm Sonia. And Derek whipped out in part one, so welcome to part two of this week's talent versus challenge. In part one, we ate the chicken nuggets. Now we're gonna puke them up thanks to Diet Coke, Mentos, and jogging. <sighs> Got it. I'm gonna literally puke now. <laughs> Mentos! Uh, Eat Mentos? We ate Mentos. We just ate Mentos. Okay, let's jog! I'm so scared. I live for this stuff. Let's go! We can do it, guys. We ain't gonna puke. We ain't gonna puke. Thank you, oh this gosh. person. Sonya! Oh, Let's do it, Kiefer. Come on, Sonya. You jerk. You can do it. Thanks for the signal. I didn't know where you were turning. For days. Do you guys just want to touch your uvulas? What? No! Sonya, you're our money shot. You're our puke baby. You're their meal. Puke I've never had people wanting me to puke. Mm -hmm. More metas. <laughs> bye bye, chicken nuggets. Back to you, Derek. Thank you, you filthy animals. An extremely elegant way to end the talent versus challenge segment. Now, through this episode, we've taken a look back at the past of Viral Vision. Now, let's go back a little further as producers of the show pulled out the cast and crew's oldest social media posts. Enjoy the agony.
Hi, I'm Derek Wolf, and I'm the host of Viral Vision. Hi, I'm Connor Henriksen, and I'm Viral Vision's fail master. My name is Sonia Lozano. I'm Alex Steiner. Hi, I'm Tony Keeter. I'm Kevin Richards. I'm Kiefer Deniston. Hi, I'm Katie Yates, and I'm a cast member of Viral Vision. Hi, I'm Eli Porca, and I'm a writer on Viral Vision. Hi, I'm Abba Manka, and I'm crew on Viral Vision. Hi, I'm Ellen Gordon, and I'm the producer for Viral Vision. I'm Allison Plunkett, the assistant producer of Viral Vision. Hey, I'm Angela Nguyen, the assistant director of Viral Vision. Hi, my name's Jake Sirianni, and I'm the director on Viral Vision. Hello, I'm Russ Walsh, the creator of the Little Tony character and the actor on the episode 4 sketch, Russ Takes Over. I played Russ, the crew man. I was a crew man. I wore a taco suit, so, you know, good comedy. <laughs> Why is everybody in relationships, haha, -ha, smiley face, I go on Facebook and newsfeed says, say, like, 20 people are now in relationships. I guess it's just something going around. Maybe I'll catch it, winky face. Is it safe to say that the Popeye movie is one of the greatest movies ever made? Yeah, it's by uh, Robert Altman. Um, they built that set in the middle of, uh, I think it was uh, Chile, this giant maritime set. And Shelley Duvall played Olive Oil. It's a great film. It's great stuff. Eli Porca can laugh in three languages. Ha ha ha. And then there's Spanish, which is ha ha ha, but with a J instead of an H. It's sort of like my past is an unfinished painting, and as the artist of that painting, I must fill all the ugly holes and make it beautiful again. Heart. Quite the philosopher. My bum itches, slash face, TMI, I know. It was itchy. I didn't have friends at the time, so I thought by posting it online, I might get a like, and I didn't. I got a lot, spelled as one word, of candy canes over the weekend. I don't know what to do with all 30 of them. I believe that was candy canes, but I can't be sure. <laughs> Up on the house go chee chee chee. Making nachos without cheese, spelled chess. Yes, I know, I'm a freak, but you all love me. You all love me! Making nachos without cheese. Friendship is like peeing on yourself. Everyone can see it, but only you get the warm feeling that it brings inside. Happy face emoji. Why do peanuts always say dry roasted? Who would buy wet peanuts anyways? Yoga pants are like wonder bras for butts. <laughs> that, um, well they are. They're very nice and um, yeah, I really don't know have much to say about that one. <laughs> <laughs> this was me with a chinchilla on my head. N no. My, this is my 16th birthday uh, photo in a limousine. So I did lose a little weight since then. Yeah, I was a rock star by the way, guys. I hope you didn't, I, I didn't know if you know this. My eyebrow problem has been, uh, it's been following me for a couple years now. I mean, look at that. <laughs> you could fit two quarters in there, I'm sure. Yes, that happened. I thought it was photoshopped, but it happened. Um, this is some art. I mean, it's beautiful. Well, that's it for this season of Viral Vision. It's been my pleasure to host this beautiful train wreck for six episodes. And as I ascend into hosting greatness, doubt it. Doubt it. Doubt it. As I was saying, as I ascend into hosting greatness, I'd like to thank all of those who made season three possible. Thank you to all of the people who watch, and especially all the people who we made fun of. Thank you for not watching, so we don't get sued. Make sure you like us on Facebook. Goodbye. And we're clear. Hey, great show, Derek. A blemish-free episode. Blemish-free? Thank you. Uh, nope, I know it's fake, but I just, I can't look at it. I can't look at it. Hey, what's up, man? Thanks for being on the second episode. I was only on it, ironically. They offered me a free bag of peanut M&Ms. Oh, what's up, girl? Quit stalking me, Derek. I don't have time for this. I'm busy watching my ex clip his toenails. Hey, you're back at it. You're licking good, man. No, I'm dead. I was a ghost in the fifth episode. Hey, dropping bars. Keep up the good work. Keep it tight, play it. Hey. Hey, great show, Derek. I wasn't talking to you, Sonia. Derek, it's time to go viral.
No, to leave the studio. It's 2.24 a.m. What a scheduling fail. Goodbye. Heh, <laughs> it's me, little Tony. The idiots think it's all over, that they're safe and content now. Ha! That's what they get for not respecting a little Tony. They don't seem to understand when a disease goes viral, there's no end to it. It only evolves, grows stronger. You know this, don't you? Mr. President. I'm Sonia, also known as Earl. I'm Katie Yates, and I'm here so I don't get fined. My name's Cameron Richards, and nobody messes with the family. I'm Kiefer Deniston, and I'm emotionally distraught. I'm Antonia, and I am so over it. Hi, I'm Alex Steiner, and I can make this quarter disappear. Ta-da! Hi, I'm Connor Henriksen, and with the help of Mountain Dew and Doritos, I'm going to be a professional gamer. Let's see a side-by-side. -side. Uncanny. Oh my god, I just I can't. Just... Hey! You're back at it! You're looking good, man. <laughs> That's no. weird. <laughs> what a schedule. <laughs> we should scoot back a little. I'm Sonia. Uh, well, sorry. Oh my! I didn't. I didn't. I 